I'm Michael Parsons, I'm Chief Executive of Wren Investment Office and we're here today to talk through some of the issues about family offices and families who want to set up family offices for themselves, be it single family offices in-house or using multi-family offices outsourced or a combination of the two. I think there are several advantages to the UK as a base for, for family offices. It's certainly one of the most international places in the world. You get a huge breadth of people coming through London and that leads to a, a high quality professionals with a great depth of expertise. With the different nationalities that come through London and the very international element, you get professionals who have a lot of experience with very different types of families and all sorts of requirements and needs. Um, so it's a, it's a, there's a great depth of professional expertise that makes London a very obvious place. London is an extremely good location. You can speak to Asia, you can speak to America. The time zone is, 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 is good, the language helps. Um, the international element makes it a very attractive place for families from all over the world. I think the key thing about family offices and their evolution is that they always need to reflect uh, and suit what a family needs. So they will evolve in future along with the family's objectives and family's requirements. So it's a broad question really as to how fam wealthy families are likely to evolve over time and how their needs are likely to change. One of the trends at the moment with the, particularly the younger generation of, of families is a consciousness of climate change and sustainability and a need to be investing and running the family offices in a very sustainable way. So that expertise and a focus on that needs to be increasingly part of um, the way family offices work, much more so than in the past. It's different for different families, but some, some are getting really engaged about climate change. It's not always the younger generation, sometimes it's the older generation, but it's particularly the younger generation um, who are bringing it to the table as something to think about and talk about. And that's because they're, they're very conscious often of the broader objectives for their wealth and the broader return objectives, not just being investment objectives to return an amount of money each year over time, but a, but a much broader objective of, of doing good for the world or being sustainable in the broadest sense of the word over time. The old fashioned approach of having um, investments on one side totally unrelated to where the money gets spent on, on the other side, that, that, is, that can be changing. There's um, much more focus these days on climate change. I hope this answers some of the questions you have about setting up a family office and the family office resources uh, needed and available for families be it in-house or outsourced or more likely a combination of the two. If there's any information you'd like, uh, there's a lot on our website and please do get in touch um, with us to speak about any of your family office needs. Thank you very much.